No matter what you call these, we all know that Americans love sneakers. However, every time a new batch of gym shoes is produced, our environment takes a hit. With every step you take breaking in a new pair of runners, you might as well be stepping into a shorter future for our planet. The carbon emissions and environmental cost of materials make athletic footwear some of the least eco-friendly clothing items to be made. And with over 300 million pairs of sneakers being thrown out each year, they're not so great on the back end either. Sneakers are the most widely purchased types of shoes in the entire world. By 2025, it's expected that the global athletic footwear market will reach a valuation of over $95 billion. That's almost double the 2016 figure of $55 billion. But because of this process, before you've even taken a step, your shoes have already made a footprint, a carbon footprint. The manufacturing process happens to be the least eco-friendly step in a sneaker's life cycle. But before we even get there, the materials that make up the heel, insole, midsole, and outer layer have to be made. An expert on this process is Hana Kajimura, who leads sustainability at Allbirds. What Allbirds is really about is trying to drive fossil fuels out of our industry and replace them with natural renewable materials. About 60% of the clothes and shoes that we wear are made from synthetic materials like polyester, like nylon. Depending on the brand, factory, style, and intended use of each shoe, those materials might differ from each other a little bit, but most of them are plastic. Acquiring those fossil fuels and natural substances to create those plastic materials is what starts off the carbon emissions. Once these materials are made, each part of the shoe has to be produced by specialized machinery. Most of these parts have to be manufactured at different factories, then where the final shoe would be put together. Shipping all those parts to one place, another step where carbon's getting released. The release of greenhouse gases traps heat in the atmosphere, which contributes to ozone depletion and global warming. But that's not even the end of it. Think about what happens when you're done with a pair of sneakers. You throw them out. The lack of biodegradability in the materials of a shoe can make it take decades, if not centuries, for it to decompose, which adds to landfills or further gas emissions if they're incinerated instead. Your new sneakers might be sick, but know that buying a new pair contributes to plastic reduction and carbon emission and overall helps fuel the 360 step process that it takes to make a single pair of shoes. Hold up, does that mean you should never buy gym shoes again? Absolutely not. But if you're ever in the market for a new pair, you should most definitely see where they're coming from. But don't worry, it's not all on you as a consumer to make the right choices. Companies have been allowed to get away with offering this trade-off between more sustainable products and more desirable products. And there's this inherent like kind of sacrifice, whether it's in cost or look and feel with a sustainable product. and that responsibility should be on the business. We get that shopping sneakers sustainably isn't always going to be a viable option. We just ask that you do the best you can and think about the impact of your purchase before you lace up a new pair. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know how you are going to shop sneakers sustainably.